Hey everybody, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and now that Google Reader is officially going to be going away here in just shy of a week on July 1st, uh, we wanted to give you a refresher on our favorite RSS client, uh, Press, which will live on past the Google Reader shutdown, luckily, and uh, will integrate completely seamlessly uh, with Feedly, a uh, new service that's hoping to take over in place of Google Reader. Now. If you use Press before with Google Reader, you won't need much of a tutorial, but it has um, changed and improved uh, since its initial releases with some UI improvements and some settings improvements. And uh, if you haven't used Press before, um, things uh, it doesn't really care about what the back end is. The, the front end of viewing articles and everything will all look the same. And the main paradigm here is that it uses a three tab layout of uh, your unread items, your read items, and your starred items. And uh, one of the latest updates now um, breaks things out inside of your different folder categories, which sync over from uh, then Google Reader and now uh, Feedly or Feed Wrangler or one of uh, many other services. And uh, you see it gets broken down by source. So um, we have multiple articles here. It'll actually be easier to see in the uh, red area because we have more articles. Um, so you can see we can tap on something here and you get a readout of all the different articles and you see there's this little slide in panel here. So we have this, uh, the lighter uh, selected article. And if you slide in, you can uh, actually read the entire article or whatever they've sent out to RSS. And um, once you get to the bottom, you can continue to scroll and you see it does a little nice little animation and you'll move on to the next article. And uh, you can also see it does the intelligent hiding of user interface elements down at the bottom here to skip to the next article over and over again. And when you want to go back, you just swipe in from the left and you'll come back to the article list and you can swipe in one more time and go back to the uh, full list of sources. So it's a really elegant way to get through your articles and um, it has it improved and added these some of these gestures as we've gone along. Um, let's go ahead and uh, dip into the settings here really quick because there are a lot of um, very useful things that you can turn on that aren't necessarily turned on by default. So you can um, turn on, uh, turn up the sync interval to show how, uh, how many articles, you know, if you want to keep all of your red articles, um, something not really practical if you follow, you know, hundreds of feeds, but if you just have some of your favorites there, you can, uh, also, um, have it auto download your red items. So if this is your first time using press, you can get your uh, red items back. You can turn on sync interval all the way up to 15 minutes so it can start pulling and you can restrict it to just Wi-Fi, or um, you can turn it on to cellular data, which is not the default. So you can have it updating and using cellular to prefetch those uh, images and give you a notification when um, there's new articles. And then you can uh, change a few of the UI elements. You can change the way the uh, behavior is uh, when uh, switching between panels. And then there's a widget as well that you can uh, manage. And then the uh, favicons for the different feeds that you follow um, can be cleared and cached. And as you saw there in the settings, we are signed in with Feedly. It just, it's a, it's a two tap sign in just like it is uh, or was with Google Reader with your Feedly credentials. Once you're all signed in, you go ahead and um, you can sign in with your Google account, which is uh, how Feedly authenticates and then you're off to the races, it'll sync and pull everything down for you. So we really think this is the uh, best way to get your new Feedly content, all of your RSS feeds onto your device. Um, it was our recommendation for Google Reader and that stands just the same now. The interface is all the exact same and uh, it works fantastically. So uh, I believe Press is $2.99 in the Play Store right now and worth every penny and then some. Thanks for taking a look guys. Thank <laughs> you.